So the rumors have been true. We had to hear from Darren Till himself or the UFC, but it actually turns out that Darren Till is no more with the UFC. He's not on the roster, and it was actually him that asked for the release. He wanted to get out the UFC for whatever reason it is, and this is what he said. What's happening, everyone? Me, Dana, and Hunter are still cool. I asked the UFC to remove me to sort some things for the foreseeable. They happily agreed to release me out of my contract, which I appreciate. I'm not going anywhere. Got big plans to execute, and I'll be back. So it looks like he's probably going to come back later, but I wonder what his plans are. Like, why did he want his release? I can see where he wants to try other organizations to get himself better, maybe come back later. I mean, it helped Brandon Moreno and Robbie Lawler and other fighters in the past to get out the UFC, fight lesser competition, build up their confidence, progress their skills without going up against the absolute killers of the world, and then come back as a better fighter. Perhaps it's that? I would love to actually see that out of Darren Till because he got rushed way too quickly early on and never was able to fight lesser competition after he got thrust into a title fight with Tyron Woodley. So maybe this is his chance to lower his competition level so he can build himself back up or it could be some other like business venture or some kind of personal reason whatever it is it is kind of sad to see Darren Till go right now he is 30 years old so he's not young but he did put on some good performances in the UFC I mean he had a good fight against Wonder Boy good fight against Robert Whitaker some of the best strikers in the UFC amazing TKO against Cowboy but other than that I mean his total record in the UFC was 6 5 and 1 he missed weight twice at welterweight once against Wonder Boy and once against Jessen Ayari he only won one in the middleweight division so his record was pretty salty but I truly believe it's for the fact that he never was able to build himself up correctly I mean look like Sean O'Malley for an example they had Sean O'Malley fight many different fighters before he fought the top guy in this division he had nine fights before he went up against Peter Yan and yes he did fight Cheeto before but Cheeto was a lesser ranked fighter nobody really knew at the time that Cheeto was as good as he is and for Darren Till he had five fights before he went up against Wonder Boy and then he went up against Woodley right after that he had some missed weights in there he had a draw against Nicholas Dalby and ever since that he just fought killers in two divisions and it seemed like Darren Till was an experience for the UFC to know how to build up their stars the correct way and Till unfortunately was like the sacrifice or the risk the UFC wanted to take and remember during that time that Conor McGregor wasn't really around that much so we had a guy who talked a lot of trash he is around that region for the time everybody thought he had a entertaining style after he beat Donald Cerrone he was a big guy for the weight class and everybody truly believed that he had a chance but because of the experience of Darren Till it seems like now that we have to actually see the fighter progress the young guy progress before they go all in for the top fighters and even for Sean O'Malley for an example Dana did not even want to put him up against Peter Yan, but the matchmakers thought it was the right time to do it. So you could definitely tell that they were really conscious on how to build up someone like Sean O'Malley, maybe because of the blunder of Darren Till. And after his last performance against Drykus, I mean, if we're going to be completely honest here, we have never seen Darren Till perform that badly. Now, he got beat down by Tyron Woodley, who was a welterweight champion, but he himself didn't look as bad as when he went up against Drykus. His striking look off, takedown defense was the worst we've ever seen, and had very little grappling defense. Even though at the time he was training with Hamza Shimai for a while up until then where he didn't have Hamza in his corner before when he fought Tyron. So his grappling and wrestling should have been way better than ever but it looked worse than ever so it seemed like some kind of mental block for Darren Till and this time off whatever he's going to do I hope it really helps him because we want to see someone like Darren Till succeed. If he could turn his career around it'll be another amazing comeback career. What if like he went to the slap fighting thing we had such expectations for the right move he should make by going to like a lesser MMA organization and try his hand there but instead he goes to power slap and just gets KO'd that would be something Darren Till would do or like he goes to bare knuckle boxing or something I mean he could probably build his hands up over there but yeah I've always been a fan of Darren Till I've always liked the guy always enjoyed his fights whenever he went up against like a karate fighter he always put on competitive performances against them no matter how good they were I mean Robert Whitaker and Wonder Boy are some of the best karate fighters to ever compete in the UFC and he did very well against both guys. The last big moment of Darren Till's career that we remember, he hit Whitaker with that elbow. Now, they didn't count it as a knockdown because it could also be looked at as he stumbled, but it was a really good shot. So you definitely see a lot of bright moments at Darren Till's career, even against some of the best fighters, but he had a hard time of actually getting it done. And even the win against Wonder Boy, we actually did drop him in the fifth round. Wonder Boy was completely compromised after that first round. And it did come from Darren Till's effort of actually kicking at his knee. So he caused the injury, but the fight became much easier for Till after Wonderboy was injured which is like his best credible win in the UFC his best clear-cut performance was definitely against Cowboy so man that's a bummer I hope he sticks around I hope he's like cornering Hamza still he's still gonna be around maybe for the media and just having fun times for everybody because I think everybody enjoys having Till around whether he's fighting or he's just in the media or he's cornering